Hi, this is Dr. Gary Sykes. Uh, the topic I'd like to discuss with you today is staying healthy in pregnancy. Well, how you can do that is to have a well-balanced, nutritious meal each day. Uh, eat well. Um, try to avoid takeaways and certainly avoid junk food, fast food. That, they're not good at all. I mean, you may have the odd splurge, but certainly don't make that a regular habit. So try uh, and have good, nutritious, home-cooked meals uh, as much as possible. Um, learn how to read packets. Um, learn, look at what's the contents, how much sugar is in a packet. Try to avoid uh, foods which have a very high sugar content, a high salt content. Uh, so just try to learn more about food and, and try to avoid uh, things that are not good for you. Uh, try to limit your calorific um, intake. I'm very conscious of that. I do that all the time. Um, try not to overeat. If you are overweight, don't expect that you're going to lose weight in pregnancy. You won't. You can try to avoid gaining an excessive amount of weight, but you certainly won't lose weight. The normal weight gain in pregnancy is about 10 to 12 kilos. It works out about one to two kilos a month. That's, that's pretty standard, but some women will have uh, excessive fluid retention, and so they'll put on more than that. So that's fluid retention, and not that they've actually put on more um, body fat. Remember, the more weight you gain in pregnancy due to excessive eating, you're gonna have to lose at the other end. Once the baby's out, you're going to have to, you know, lose that. And that can be very hard. There's many a woman, many a woman, who's been unable to get back to her pre-pregnancy weight. So she indulged excessively because she was very hungry in the pregnancy and she ends up being overweight, uh, subsequently not being able to lose it. Uh, certainly have adequate uh, uh, fluids, but certainly avoid uh, you know, soft drinks. Soft drinks are not good for you at the best of times. You can have um, coffee. Uh, there's no rule that says coffee is disallowed. There's no evidence that coffee is harmful. I certainly would avoid um, cigarettes. Uh, I'd avoid um, uh, drugs too, illegal drugs. Um, alcohol. Um, there's no good evidence that having the occasional drink in pregnancy will do your baby any harm. I know a pregnant woman have a thing about it. Um, I get contacted, you know, I had some cake and I realised there was some rum in that cake. Is my baby going to be okay? Certainly there's no evidence that having a little bit of alcohol occasionally would do you, you or your baby any harm uh, whatsoever. So don't, don't worry. My wife drank when she was pregnant and we've got three very, very um, healthy, uh, healthy children. Uh, try and get adequate rest. Um, six to eight hours of sleep each night if possible. You may require more as you get advanced in a pregnancy because as you advance in a pregnancy you will be more tired. Um, exercise, I've mentioned this uh, previously. Exercise um, is important but if you are not already active in a gym or active in sport don't start now that you're pregnant. No, start going on regular brisk walks. That's the best option for you. Um, and finally, um, supplements. Um, most pregnant women, when they come for their first visit, they are on pregnancy supplement, which is fine. Uh, that's good. Certainly supplements are important if there is a, a deficiency of one sort or other, and you would hopefully be aware of that when you come for your first visit. But the general pregnancy supplement, the, the evidence is lacking that it really makes um, any difference. You're welcome to take it, it won't do any harm, but they are quite expensive and can cause more sickness, more nausea in pregnancy. But the evidence, if you contact the manufacturers and ask them where is their evidence, they say we don't have any. So just think about that. Um, folic acid um, is important, uh, particularly in those first, uh, first trimester and the first half of the second trimester. Folic acid is important, adequate level of that, 0.5 milligrams. Um, iodine is important if you have an iodine deficiency and certainly iron is important if you um, have a, an iron deficiency anemia but there's not enough iron in a multivitamin you'd have to take um, a special uh, iron, iron supplement instead. 
hope that helps and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.